Good morning, good after, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what part of the world you are in. This is the Big Girl Diary. Oh man, oh man, I got a good one for you today. But this video is about Marilyn Manson, but it is about the Marilyn Manson detractors. Now, I'm, I'm doing this video for one reason and one reason only. For this person here, Dragon Koi 8. And I really appreciate you, Dragon Koi 8, because you put information out there about people that have a problem with Marilyn Manson. Let's see, let me try to make this a little bigger. That's what I'll do. Uh oh. I didn't mean to do that. I'm over here pre recording struggle streaming. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh man, I'm just messing up big time. Okay, right here. Sorry about that. I'm over here messing up. Now, um, this person came up with um, every person. That has publicly spoken out against Marilyn Manson. Now let's now let's make sure that we 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 get this right. You can speak out against a person because they said something or did something that you did not necessarily agree with. It doesn't mean that he is this horrible person that was spawned from the loins of Satan. No. Oh, that's a good one. Spawn <laughs> okay. It doesn't mean that. It just simply means that they disagreed with him. Now, as I went through the list, this person, Dragon Koi 8, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, please forgive me, on Twitter. Um, he or she put people on there that, are, that gave a declaration for Marilyn Manson. So, I just wonder... People that are for, what's her name, Evan Rachel Wood, are you so blinded by what she's saying that you're not looking at what makes sense? Or are you just going against him because it's just something that is trending? Now, look, I'm not a Marilyn Manson fan. I know about him ever since he first came out. When I saw him on Phil Donahue's show back in 1992, he scared the kajibas out of me. And I'm thinking, <laughs> wait a minute, let me do this right. Oh, I could never do this. Wait a minute. Oh, I am so silly, but you know what I mean. You know, cross. <sighs> okay. But one thing um, I have an issue with, and maybe it's just, justice in me always going for the underdog or someone who's being wrongfully persecuted now I don't know I truly don't know but as I look at Evan Rachel Wood's situation I'm, I'm looking at her and I'm just thinking this right here is Amber Heard 2.0 that's the only thing that I see and when I hear her speak and when I look at the things which she puts out we, we live in a climate that you have to agree with whatever a woman says. She could be wronger than two left shoes, but you have to agree because a woman said it. Now, by me being a woman, I don't go along with women who ever just say whatever what they want to say and to get, and I'm going to say this, uh, possibly getting back at Marilyn Manson because he didn't marry her. He didn't. Whatever reason why they were both engaged twice, whatever reasons why they did not take it down and she didn't get that ring, that ring, that, well, she got the engagement ring, but she didn't get the mar the wedding band. Whatever reason why he didn't take her down the aisle, who knows? The right there's between the two of them. But one thing I do know is, oh my goodness, I'm getting sick and tired of these, uh, what do you call it? These uh, emergency vehicles. Every video I do, you got that. Could you please stop crime for one hour so I can do my video? 
Okay, that was my self-absorbed moment. Okay, I'm done with it. But, Evan, when you look at what she's doing, she had all this time to do the things that she that she should have done when she first left him for those eight months she did not go to the police she did not say he did this to me he did this to me and i want him prosecuted she did not do it no she didn't when you look at esme bianco and uh, esme bianco is on is on the list but what got me was there's Esme Balog. Esme Balog, no. She's testifying for him. Now, Trent Reznor, he's he's good looking. I I was like, wow. His younger years, mm -mm. now, okay, but that's neither here nor there. He was pissed off at Marilyn Manson for, for years. For a very long time, he was pissed off at him because I think Marilyn said some something in happenstance and it's sort of stuck and he'd been pissed off ever since and when they tried to reunite i guess their personalities didn't they didn't click however just because someone is upset doesn't mean that they're a terrible person oh one person i got a really a bone to pick with is rose mcgrone mcgown Oh, let me put up this stuff here. Rose McGowan. She really bothers me. She bothers me because she went along, she went along to get along, knowing that she came out and said, well, I didn't have that experience with him. We had um, a, a good relationship, this, that, and the other. But she never came out and said no. But she joined in with him. That's dangerous. In my day, we would call. Well, actually, not in my day, but if, you, but it, but if you were to go back two hundred years, you're a turncoat, a Benedict, a Benedict Arnold, whatever you want to say. But, but she didn't stand up for him. Not at all. And I just, I, I just don't, I, I just don't get people who do stuff like that. You know that you didn't have that experience with him, but you're like, that's not his character. But when you look at Evan Rachel Wood, I want to call her Jones or Smith so bad. When, when, when you look at her, she has an axe to grind, in my opinion, allegedly. I can't prove it, but I can only look at what she does. Her ex man, I could go down a list. And then you want to, and, and then you have, uh, who is it? Let me go through this list. Then you have Dita, Dita, his ex-wife. Now, she didn't have an axe to grind. Actually, she, she was ladylike when Evan is inserted herself between her and her husband. And and I have to stop and, and look at um, the Marilyn Manson detractors. Are you so into Rachel's mirror that you, um, oh man, Evan Rachel Wood's mirror that you believe are going into her delusions as well her mirror of delusions oh i like that mirror of delusions that's going to be the thumbnail or maybe the title the mirror of delusions um sometimes a person has an axe to grind and they'll use any and everyone to get across whatever they want look at ilma ilma gore she's getting sued right along with her now ilma she has done some funky stuff to her sister, her twin sister. <laughs> oh my goodness! Look, with families, with with a family member like that, who needed, who needs enemies? You don't need enemies. But I digress on that one. But someone, oh man, I wish I would have took your name down, and I didn't, and I do apologize. Um, 
showed that the charitable stuff that um, Marilyn Manson did. Now, if he was such a horrible person, um, believe me, I don't think he would pull an Amber Heard and uh, talk about how she donates and pledges and how she used those two words interchangeably. Look. That is so dumb on so many different levels. Oh, sometimes whenever you say dumb stuff like that, just keep your mouth shut. Amber, don't don't say dumb. Just you're doing this. Don't do this. Do this. Shh. No one would know. No one would know. <laughs> oh my goodness. I couldn't believe she said that. I donate and pledge. I use the word interchangeably. Oh Lord, I'm gonna leave that one alone. Mm -mm -mm. But back to what I was talking about to Marilyn Manson detractor. Um, Dragon 8, Dragon Koi 8. I understand what you mean. People spoke out against him, but for different reasons. If you were to look at each one, each person had a different reason for not liking him. Now, imagine me. I have um, uh, two people, I mean, not, not two people, but people either love me or hate me. Nothing in between. And I could imagine what the people, would, who, who would speak out about me, what the things they would say about me. And the people who love me, imagine what they would say about me. So just because that they spoke out against him, what was it that, that they spoke out against? That's what's missing here on your document here. I mean, it would have been nice if you would put like a little notation. He did this. He did that. And then if he did, my question is, if he did something on S abuse or DV or D. Violencia. Why didn't they take it to the next step and report it? Why go? I mean, look. During this court case, if Evan Rachel Wood, if she loses, oh, you know how many senators? Oh my goodness! Oh man! <laughs> All of it. I'm not laughing at the situation. I'm laughing at how the senators jumped on it and did not bother to look into what she was saying. Sen you know, look, senators, you always get yourself into some dumb stuff. You just do. But I'm not going to, that's for politics with Laura. That, that's a, my other channel. But I just thought I would take this time to say detractors. Have a little bit, oh, no, 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 let me backtrack on that. You can detract all you want. This is a free country. Detract, detract, detract. But just look at the person whom, with whom you're doing this for. Look at Ilma Gore. She's getting sued because she was... There's other people that I think ought to get sued, like HBO. And the person that produced um, her film. Her, um... Whatever you want to call it. Not only that... Let me see who else needs to be looked at. <laughs> but... Again, just look at just look at her. I'm not I'm not an Evan Rachel Wood fan. I didn't know who she was until this. Marilyn Manson fan. Um, I know him what I see him. I really don't know his music catalog, but I just don't like seeing people getting railroaded, especially when it's visible. Look, Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles confirmed with Helen Keller that he's being railroaded. Allegedly. <laughs> I'm so silly. Look, on that note, like, subscribe. If you don't like it, subscribe, dislike my video, and tell me why you don't like it. We can hash it out. I'm a reasonable person. We can agree to disagree. But I'm not going to pounce on you because you don't agree with me and some of you really need to stop doing that because just because you think that way doesn't mean everybody has to follow you because you are you the world is bigger the universe is bigger than in front of you just take that two cents
do what you want with it. <laughs> On that note, thank you. My subscribers, I thank you very much. Those of you who look at my video, you could like, you could dislike, you could also subscribe. And if you want to say something, do that too. All right, on that note, take care, be groovy. Thank you for stopping by.